calculating the standard electromagnetic force E of a cell. So electromagnetic force is sometimes abbreviated EMF. In this problem it says we're given two half reactions and their standard reduction potentials. Calculate the standard electromagnetic force for the cell given this following the following reaction. So we know one of them is going to be oxidizing and one of them is going to be reducing. So AG is going to be reducing, so we're going to use 0 0.80 voltage for that. But TI, TI is actually going to be switched, is going to be this, TL is going to become T, is going to produce TL positive plus an electron on that side. Notice that it matches up with what we have here if we were to add those half reactions together. So now its oxidation potential is positive because we switched it around so it's going to become 0 0.34 voltage. Now if we had this E, if we had E cell we can do it one of two ways. If we know which one is going to be oxidized we can just do E standard reduction potential of the cathode minus the E standard reduction potential of the anode. So that's just going to be 0 0.80 minus negative 0 0.34. And then that's going to give us 1.14 voltage. Or we can do this one because we know which one is oxidized. What we can do is for standard potential of the or the electromagnetic force of the cell, we can add the we can add the redu the reduced electro the reduced standard potential plus the oxidation potential. So when we do that, we're going to see it's 0 0.80 plus what we have for the oxidation one, which is 0 0.34. And that's going to also equal 1.14 voltage. So that's the answer for both. But sometimes, depending on what you do, you might want to use this equation. Or you might want to do an addition of just the reduction and oxidation potentials.